Hi, this is Mary, and this is Dreamy Goat Design Studio. This video will focus on cochineal with modifiers. Modifiers are anything that you use after you've dyed your fiber, and you're using them to uh, basically adjust the pH one way or the other. So what happens uh, when you adjust a pH, uh, shift a pH is you oftentimes shift the color slightly to the left or to the right, so to speak. Some dye stuffs um, don't shift very much because they're not all that pH sensitive. But other dye stuffs are very pH sensitive, like cochineal, and man, do they switch up when you modify them after you've taken, just after you've taken them out of the dye bath. You want the fiber still wet before you add your modifier. Now, I'm going to show you two. There are more, but I'm going to show you two such modifiers. Okay, so let's look at what we started with. The first, and these are still uh, air curing, so they're still kind of funny. This is a first bath cochineal with tartaric acid, also cream of tartar, remember, for me, they are inter interchangeable. And here you have this beautiful deep red. And then these were put in the second dye pot, the second bath of the same cochineal. So this is the second bath, cochineal with tartaric acid, and it's kind of a bright, rich pink, okay? So the first modifier I'm going to address is ammonia. And of course you have to be careful with ammonia because you don't want to get it in your eyes, you don't want to inhale it. It's probably a good idea to use this outside. What you do is you take one quarter cup of ammonia, you add it to one quart of tepid water, not hot, you do not use this on the stove, you do not boil it, stay away from that, tepid to cool water. You immerse your fiber, and remember, it's it's uh, straight out of the dye pot. You've squeezed it uh, of its excess dye, but it's not it's it's still very damp. You immerse that fiber just for a few seconds. You will see a shift in color immediately. Then you hand wash it right afterwards because you don't want that ammonia to sit on your fiber. And you, of course, take great great care not to inhale the ammonia. So, what does it look like when you use an ammonia modifier on a first bath? Here it is. Look at this puppy. This is your first bath with ammonia. Pretty, pretty. And for your first bath, excuse me, your second bath with ammonia, here's what you get. First bath, second bath, ammonia. Now a second modifier, which we have already used in our study groups, is your ferrous sulfite, sulfate, excuse me, iron, okay? You again have to be careful with this because it can be very hard on wool, so it is arguable uh, whether or not I should even be using it. But I do use it, and I take very, uh, very great care to wash my fiber of the iron granules right after I have uh, soaked them in the iron solution. So here are the directions. 3% ferrous sulfate, first dissolved and strained, uh, then poured into a quart of warm water. Okay. I immerse the fibers for no more than 30 minutes. You can kind of watch it and see where it is and whatever range of color you get that you like, then take it out and then hand wash it immediately after. Now, iron, as you know, saddens or darkens color and look what it has done. Here is your iron. Wow. And here is your iron again. First bath, second bath. So if you just kind of look at these for a minute. Look at the range of colors we have. I'm going to take these out and let's just do this, line them up, and we can see what fun good old cochineal affords us. And speaking of fun, you can really get carried away with modifiers if you'd like to use either combed top or even better, uh, already spun wool or excuse me, not wool, already spun yarn. It can be wool, it can be other fibers, of course. 
So let me show you. Now we're going to pretend to do this, but on the post in the class, I will show you photos of what I've done so you can get a better idea of this. So right now you're just going to have to kind of imagine. So let me move these over to the side and let's pretend. Let's pretend you've just taken these hanks of wool yarn, the click attack yarn, BFL yarn. They are, you've just taken them out of the red dye pot, bright red, you're imagining, right? Make yourself a, mo a modifier bath of the 3% ferrous sulfate or iron. And just leave this empty. So you've got one pot or pan or bowl here with these, uh, the iron solution. You just dip in a little bit here, kind of raise this up if you will, and leave this bright red here and this portion in your iron sulfate solution. And then wait for as long as you want. And then in the last few seconds, go ahead and make your ammonia bath and put just this little amount in. Now I kind of have this tangled up, but you get the idea. This will be your darkened, this will be your bright red, this will be your more fuchsia or pink. It will take just a few seconds for this color to shift here. In fact, I've actually spoken longer than it will take. So at that point, take them all out and put them into um, a, a pan of warm sudsy water and wash them out. Yes, this, you do not air cure this for um, a month. Okay, you wanna get that iron out of there and the ammonia out of there. Now you've imagined it, let me just show you a sample of what I'm talking about. And let me say first that it never works as smoothly as you think it does. This is a blend of 50% Bombex silk and 50% wool, I believe merino. It, I had dyed it a beautiful bright red. You can't see a beautiful bright red anywhere here. That's because when I put it into the iron bath, let's say I think this is the iron bath, and kept this up, this wicked way up, okay? Thus um, darkening the bright red. And then I put it in ammonia, the other end of it in ammonia for a little tiny bit. And this of course brought out kind of the fuchsia colors. And so when I took it out, this has not been washed. Uh, excuse me, it has been washed, but it has not a final wash. I have just uh, hand washed it to get it to get rid of everything, but I'm gonna kinda let it sit and cure for a little while longer. This is what I got. I lost my brilliant red, but it's interesting and I like it. I think what I might do actually is take break some of this big expanse of iron that wicked up and into the red and maybe dip just this much in an indigo vat and get a, get a third or fourth color. But you can get an idea of what you can do if you just stagger your modifiers uh, whether it's comb top or whether it's it's yarn. It's fun. Modifiers are fun. There are many more out there too, so look them up in your dye books. Um, using vinegar or citric acid is not as effective. Um, in other words, uh, acidifying the pH is not as effective of modifier as is hardening the pH, lowering the pH, uh, raising the pH, um, and those usually are, are pretty good. Anyway, enough of this. You get an idea. Have fun, and I'll talk with you soon.